Everything that you're used to in your life, forget it for the Gumball Week. I had a basic understanding of what Gumball was, but doing it is a whole different animal. It's like a whirlwind sightseeing tour. Fast cars, partying hard, great people, great energy, seeing all these beautiful places in the world. I can't believe this is real. <laughs> It's a week of emotional highs and lows. And if you can survive that and embrace it, then that's a bit of gumball spirit. London to Japan, it's crazy. This is the most insane experience of my life. Kicking off the gumball event, super stoked. The first thing we saw, there were like all these cars out front. I don't even know where our car is. Like, hey, you guys hear the car roaring and shit. Gonna go see the car soon, getting up the pop up. We got a shit ton of stuff to cram in the next 10 days. See you on the road. We gotta go register. Let's get it. Our rap is still getting, it's it's getting might, finished. Might today. be done, yeah, might be done. Joshua Vida is working on it. When we first saw the cars in LA, we met up with Caesar from Lionheart Lifestyle, and he had like six of them to pick. We immediately fell in love with the 488. A few months ago, Monterset reached out. As of recent, this white and black thing that I've been doing has been kind of taking off. I just finished painting it. It's probably still fresh, but they're applying the stickers and we're gonna go straight to the pop-up shop. The first pop-up was insane. It was all promoted within that day. First guys are close, t-shirts, a lot of people came just to see us. I don't know why, we're kind of whack. There must have been like a thousand people on that street. What's up? I see Cloud Gang over there. The amount of people that have showed up, it's actually insane. We literally shut down the whole block. We're gonna meet a lot of fans. I've obviously known about Gumball 3000 for a few years now. Looking at the cars and the drivers and just the people that are here, there's just so much like positive energy here and everyone's like, really excited for the race. I just can't wait to put this thing on Instagram, you know, kind of flex. Bruh. That's insane. Hand painted. Joshua Vidas absolutely killed it. This is like one of the sickest raps in the Gumball Rally. Uh, it was lit last night. Today is the first day. Let's go debrief, dog. Let's get it. Before the rally starts, you're gonna let us know what's going on. Everything we need to know. Welcome the 20th anniversary Gumball. Are you ready for this adventure? I don't know who went down to Covent Garden yesterday. It was pretty impressive. We opened up our Gumball store and had a few of the phase and cloud guys who are in the room. Where are you guys? Yeah. I was a little anxious because we were gonna be driving with people that have been driving for way longer than us. We're the young bucks in this race. Even if I was an older cat looking at people like us, I'd be like, who are these guys? You know what I mean? Like, you gotta prove your worth. I definitely think that they're gonna be trying to flex on us on the road. It'll be fun though. Before these guys set off on the rally, there was kind of a bit of hate online, a bit of negative feedback about what are these guys doing on the rally? Do they even like cars? It's funny, like two decades ago, when the Jackass guys did it, they got the same reaction. People were like, why are skateboarders on it? Obviously these guys are young and the whole YouTube influencer and B gaming scene didn't exist 10 years ago. This is like a whole new genre, which I think people are still getting used to. They are the next generation of Gumball. It's time, dog. London is my hometown, and we haven't started Gumball in London since 2011, so it was great to have another London start. You ready, Alex? Yeah, bro, we're about to pull up. The block is hot. If you are ready, let me hear you scream! This is the starting block! Are these the keys to our whip? Yes, 
sir. Oh man, goddamn. Cloud gang. We're right here. Damn, dog. Wander set face clan. Bro, we're about to eat. Let's go, baby. This is insane, dog. Reaching 20 years for anyone who's created something is a milestone. It's nice to see Gumball just continuing to evolve and grow. We're just driving like the first like half a mile. Tons of people came out to see like the beginning of the race and it felt like a dream. All those people, so much love, everybody just super hyped, everybody revving their engines and stuff. It was wild. Let's go. Can we get a phase out? Yes. Clout, for some reason, didn't check the gas when they turned on their car. We get in the car at Gumball and there was already no gas in it. So we went to two gas stations that weren't there. So then we're just driving around on zero miles and then the car just like stopped working. We tried everything and now it just like died. So now we're here on the side of the road in London, having a good time, waiting for gas. We're at like the checkpoint. We're about to pull up in France and I could use some of the French I learned in high school, like Jim Appel Alec. That's about all I know. Bro, this car goes fast. It's this is the custom paint job that Joshua Vitas did. This is insane. It looks f***ing lit. We're about to hit the road again, right? We gotta go across the water now. When we were leaving London, tons of cars get into this train and then they go underwater. Look, look what's happening right now. We're entering a train, show. We're entering the train, bruh. The tunnel is straight underwater for like an hour, hour and a half on the way to France. I wanna ride it down. <laughs> yeah. We've been on the road for like six hours, bro. I'm Tommy's awesome. been whipping it all day. The castle in Chantilly was crazy. It was like Hogwarts. We made it, yo. I'm exhausted, bro. Tuesday morning, woke up in Chantilly, got on the road by 8.30 a.m. We just woke up in France. Look where we're at, man. This is insanely beautiful. Right now, we are heading to the cars, and then Milan, to Milan. Milan. Let's go, Alex. Dude, this is incredible. Especially all the people, all the fans for Gumball. Every country, there's so many of them. And it's a really cool energy, like super cool vibe. Gumball 3000, you guys are doing it right. It should be fun. I'm excited. Yeah, we can't be racing in Switzerland. So like, I'm not trying to get arrested in Switzerland, you know? That'd be kind of a predicament. So I'm gonna just try my best to avoid that. <laughs> Switzerland, here we come. We'll catch you at Milan tonight. Yo, so we got busted. We, we did get busted. These cops saw that we didn't have a license plate, asked for the car registration, and I didn't know where it was. He was like, we're gonna seize the vehicle if you don't pay us 90 euros. I'm like, yo, Alex, do you have cash? But Alex didn't have any cash. So we're like, Fuck. But then we remembered the, uh, the two guys in the McLaren. We actually met with them at a, at a gas station. They spotted us like nothing, like a huge shout out to them, bro. They literally saved the day. Otherwise, they were gonna impound the vehicle. We didn't see that there was this tag right here, which has a, our VIN, the vehicle identification number. If you take this out and open it, it says that this vehicle like is good to, to drive without a license plate for like 90 days. Police just scummed us for 90 euros. Police. What do we do? We started getting a lot of texts from the clout car and everybody was like freaking out because they got stopped at the border. Same situation, they didn't have plates in their car. I'm staying positive, okay? Everything's gonna be good. We pulled up to the border, bro, and they said we didn't have the plates. It's been like six hours just standing here waiting. I'm just over it. Yo, cool. I want my car Thunder. back, I want to drive, and I want to get uh, out of Italy. Okay. Cloud Gang got their car seized by the Border Patrol. But it turns out that the wrong turn that we took was the most clutch wrong turn of my life because we're currently in Italy. Like I thought we were still in France, but we are, we're already in Italy. So we didn't even go through a Border Patrol, which is great because we probably would have had to face the same problem. We made it to Milan after like 11 hours of driving. That day was insane. The 
next day, woke up, drove like an hour or two to Bologna. We got to the airport, the cars went on a different flight. We were flying sort of over 100 cars from Italy to Japan. We got in the flight with Gumball Air. We're going to Japan, buddy. Okay. And this was the craziest flight. Everybody was drinking, having a good time, listening to music. Someone got in the overhead and was just chilling there for a while. There's a pass up here, guys. Up to the side. These two people got married. Someone is getting married on the plane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, got married. <laughs> and guess who was the usher? Usher. We landed in Japan, and I've always wanted to come to Japan. I felt like I was at home a little bit. We get to Osaka first, had a chill night. So it pays to have friends all over the world, and our guys from the cloud game needed a car. I had a friend in Tokyo that was able to arrange a Porsche Cayenne Turbo. So good luck, guys. Continue the journey. So you're in Japan. No, no, no. <laughs> we just got on this bus. We're gonna be going to go get the cars right now. About to leave the Japanese airport in Owasaka and go to Koyoto, right? Is that how you say this shit? You gotta be respectful out here. It's all about the culture. So in Kyoto, there's a racetrack. That should be fun. You wanna drive the Porsche? Not really. I'm seeing all these other cars, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just embarrassing. All these guys got two seaters. Our car is just a regular family car, you know? Not having that. To, listen, let's just say he threw up last night. That's all I'm gonna say. People were handing me shots. Like, guy, what the am I supposed to do? Not be a bitch and throw up. That's <laughs> Kyoto is super dope. It's just very traditional and beautiful. Today we drive to Nanao. We are going to the Automotive Museum. That should be fun. You ready to skirt? I hope the boy's a, like a safe driver because I've heard stories about him. Dude, Javity's people are so nice. Yeah, they're awesome, bro. This is my partner, but you know, Bryce had to hop in for real yeah, quick. Yeah, he took his spot back, bro. I'm back in the poopy Porsche, man. <laughs> Going in and out right now. I thought we were at Gumball, bro. Why are we at the beach? No, dude, we're just taking a little break at the beach, yo. Can't get some sand in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they took all of our clothes away from us, man. Yeah, they just took our clothes. They said you have to wear this while you're in this hotel. This is my eighth gumball rally. This might be the one for the books, man. I've never been in Japan before, and I never thought I'd see the country like this, but that just goes to show you what Gumball 3000 does, man. 
All right, it is Saturday. We're about to head to Tokyo. Pretty sure we're gonna find some Pokemon there. No, they're not real. I've been telling him this. Dude, but it's sunny and I don't have my glasses. I lost them and I lost my one AirPod, man. Everything's falling apart. Well, you lost your glasses? No, it's okay. I'll be all right. <laughs> but it's about to be a 10 hour drive. It's gonna be lit. Let's go. Solid driving there, Peter. Yeah, you know me, David. Let's go get some food. Let's go get some lunch. Urinate. We're about to go to Tokyo, man. We're about to go to Tokyo, dog. Are you kidding me? The finale of Gumball was insane. We made it to Tokyo. This is the first time that Gumball has taken part in Tokyo, so it's really special. This is like Need for Speed Underground 2, but like, bro, I can't even explain it. I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words. This is crazy. Every like big driver in Tokyo that has a supercar came out here, and I've never seen like cars like this with so, so many lights and just like, the engines are Ridiculous. I can't believe this is real. <laughs> this is f man. I can't believe there's like 10 million dollars in super f cars here. But this was the last day of driving. We made it from London to Tokyo. It was f it's f lit, fam. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> There must have been like just 10 million dollars right there, all driving together. It was unbelievable. I couldn't like, whoa, dude, that was like, I'm getting like chills like thinking about it. That was sick. As soon as me and Alex pulled up, here in Tokyo in the garage and we parked the car. I just looked at him like, dude, you did it, man. Like, it was, you did it. Listen, this is really hurting my ears. Too early for this shit, man. It's too early. How is it that loud? That's, it. That's the gumball spirit right there, though. I you can't yeah. with that. Today we had the pop-up in Tokyo. I don't know what our Japanese audience is like, to be honest, but I'm excited to find out. Apparently like 200, 300 kids came out. This pop-up is about to be lit. We were there for like an hour, took pictures with everybody, met a lot of fans. Love you! Yo! Lit pop up here in Tokyo. So many fans came out. That was awesome. It was a lot of fun. Ooh. I got this for free, and this is not cheap. This was my first, and they say the first always, you know, last. But uh, this won't be my last. See you next year. Yes, come through. One out. One out. Tokyo things. Tonight, we're gonna be having this crazy party and they're gonna be giving out awards and stuff. I'm gonna ask one more time. Give yourselves a big round of applause. We made it all the way from Tokyo!
was insane. In a matter of eight days, we drove through what? Four countries? Crazy, man. It's been great to have FaZe and Clout on the rally. We got corn dogs. I think they've embraced it in a really good way. I think they've also kind of had some meltdowns en route. But I hope the experience is something that they'll remember forever. Bro, it's really crazy. And if they do, then it's been a success. I had the honestly the greatest time of, of my life. Get in, buddy, yeah. Man, I can't believe it's over. Lead the way. Let's go. Yeah, I'm definitely coming back.